Hello, welcome to another Riding Times on uh, Revelator Half. So, uh, out the back roads again, as you can see. Um, glorious sunny uh, autumn morning. Here. Uh, we had a few days of rain, it's a heavy rain, but yesterday was a bit of a dry day, so it seems to have dried out the roads quite a lot. And it's just continuing the same vein. A bit of a road kill there. Okay, right, so, I'm going to be heading off into the hills, off into that uh, district there. And there's a new trail that I've found, so I'm going to go explore, well I found it on the map, I'm going to explore it and see how far it, uh, see how far I can get. Right, so it's uh, turning us up here somewhere. There we go, right. Let's see uh, what it has in sort. Now this first bit of uh, back road actually takes me onto another trail but I'm gonna sort of only go up here for a, a few hundred meters and then turn off on something I've never actually been on before so uh, let's see uh, let's see what's now I don't know if the entrance is blocked off um, in truth I would uh, I totally missed this one on previous times that I've come up here so it's uh, it's gonna be a bit of an, a new adventure for me too So it's, a, it's an absolutely glorious morning. The bike's running well. I've got it uh, set on the off-road off settings. So I've turned the traction control off because uh, I am going into the hills quite a bit. There we go. We'll pull over then. God, don't, don't give me a, the evil eye. Oh dear. Um, yeah, so it's... Uh, it's a turn traction catching control off him off into the hills um, so there might be a bit of loose stuff and obviously because it's wet as well so let's just see how that goes right and this is a lovely part isn't it look at this beautiful beautiful yeah the road's been worn away quite a bit here Now, there is a little turning up here somewhere, onto a trail, so I've got to try and find. And I'm just wondering whether... Aha! There it is, right. Um, where is it? This way? It is that way. Okay, let's go and give it a go. So he was hiding from me, wasn't it, this one? Oh, so I'm assuming... Is it that one or is it that one? Uh, this says it tends to go... I don't know whether the trail actually goes down there or down there. So I'll tell you what i do, I'll go... I'll go down here first of all, and see what it's like, see where it takes me, and then uh, see, I said we're just going to the big rut here, I've got that thing to get out of the way, there we go, just make sure I don't snag my leg on that, there we go, all right. So good, okay. Uh, right, so there are some houses right on the edge of the woods. Make sure I don't flick my eye out here. There we go. Uh. Yeah, it looks as if I am still on the trail. I wonder what that other trail went to then. Uh, just give it a go. Um, yeah, so the reason I'm going so slowly is because I'm just wondering where where this train actually ends or actually goes to, more's the point. That's what I'm kind of wondering. Whether I've come off the right one. Let me just... Uh, Take it a little bit further. Let's see. Um,
You know, I've got a feeling they've they've done some work here and they might have cut this down a bit. Yeah, the trail has kind of disappeared here. <laughs> right. So that trail there, that's where the other one was. Now. Uh, that goes along the length of that. That's, I think that's more like a footpath, that one. Alright, let me try this way first of all. Yeah, lots of these trails all over the place. It's actually quite difficult to work out which is which. Because uh, I can see there's a trail going off in that general direction. Now is that it? Okay, that's a dead end there. Uh, okay, there's a trail here. Ah, okay. So my initial thoughts were correct. That initial trail was the right one to take. It's funny, isn't it? You know, you go on the trail and think, no, this doesn't look right. There we go. This is more like it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well. This is beauty, isn't it? Look at it. It's right on the side of the hill. Going down quite a steep incline here. So I'm just going to make sure that covering the brakes, but also that I give myself a get out just in case I have to, you know, double back here. Because it's likely to be all blocked at some point, isn't it? looking really down far far as I can down the bottom here Make sure I'm in the gully here so I suppose what I really should do is try and get off the bike and show you but there's such a steep incline here but to really show you how deep it is and how close to the pegs it gets yeah, they're just bottomed out on the on the skid pan, the beddy pan there we go there we go, right. And the thing is, you know, with all this kind of off-road riding, as I as I kind of try and stay all the say all the time, is you know, just take it easy. Never, never rush to do anything, you know. Um, no, see that trail, all that trail. Yeah. Do you know what? I'll go here. This is supposed to take me into open countryside. Let me give it a go. And I've got a bit of tree stuck in my... There we go. Look at that. Right. I'm assuming this is correct. So you come out of the tree. So you can see what I'm kind of going through. I just went through one of those big dips on the... On the, uh, on the bike or down down the big ditch on the forest now out into the open countryside an open trail yeah I can see so really you should take a left turn right at the top of the hill here yeah the rear tyre wants to do all sorts of silly things here yeah yeah Fish tailing. Look at I got the uh, the nobblies on. That's helping a little bit. But I used to do all this sort of stuff on the road tyres as well. Granted, it was never very good going uphill uh, on the road tyres. But everywhere else, it was fine. All right now, where else am I going here? So I wonder if I have to go into the trees to take the left turn, or whether it's on the. Well, I've got a feeling it's here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, up here. 
nice. It's a glorious view out here. Amazing, really. <clears throat> Things with having the traction control off, it's a kind of a trade-off. You, you're gonna, you know, you've got to really manage that throttle because otherwise you're just going to spin the back tyre up when you don't really want it to. Um, so that's where the traction control, having it on off-road is a good thing in many ways. The problem is when you need it, when you really need the tyre to dig in and you need to go up a hill sometimes, that's when you need to give it the beans. Um, or if you're stuck in the sort of gloopy sand, you sh you've got to use something. So having the traction control on will kind of shut down the engine power, so having it off. But you know, it's one of those things, it's like old school riding, you just got to manage it. Manage what, what you're riding and what power you're applying, you know, with the throttle. Wow. Lovely. That's just, it's, it's such a beautiful, crisp morning. You know, it's a clear skies out there. You know, so it's uh, probably playing havoc with the exposure on the camera, but uh, you know, for the, the naked eye, it's uh, fantastic. And as I keep on saying, the videos don't, I suppose they don't really do it justice sometimes. You know, that's why I always say, you know, I really appreciate everybody watching the videos and, you know, all the comments that I get, whether on the social media, you know, on Twitter or whatever, or on this. But the whole point is to try and encourage everybody just to go out and do this for themselves and see it. Because I think the naked eye, you just get so much more, you know, with the naked eye. And luckily this trail is pretty flat, there's quite a bit of debris and we've had a lot of strong winds recently so and the, the trails are starting to get a little bit wet in places I and mean, here it's fine. A little forest pits, there we go, this is a lovely trail. Well. Just come down there. Yeah, I've got, luckily, I've got my saw with me, my folding saw, so if I need to hack my way through uh, things, I should be alright. I actually I actually took the axe out of the back. Um, what I found, I need to get a pl hard plastic cover for the blade, because uh, I found it was kind of cutting into the bag that I had for it, so... Yeah, you know, just... Uh, just being careful with that. Alright. I mean, there's you know lots of forestry here, but there's also lots of open fields as well. Ah, I didn't realise it was a farm here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I can see on the map now there's farm building. Right, okay, let's see if I go through it or around it or by it. Oh wow. Beauty. So let's see where this is. It there? No. Uh, right, so it's this way. This way. Uh, 
Okay, I've got a feeling that the actual bridleway takes us across there and goes across the, not the bridleway, the, um, the track takes us across that way and that way. But it actually meets up in this direction over here somewhere. Well, I've got a feeling I'm on private property, unfortunately. I'm hoping that there's a way out of here. Lovely, right. Okay, good. Onto this bit. There we go. Turn on this road here. And then, to this bit here, now very soon I need to turn off again. So luckily, just on a very short stretch of uh, road, and back onto another byway. So it's here somewhere. Is that it? Yeah. There we go. Lovely. Right, so this goes quite down quite a steep hill as well. Uh, yeah, this way. Right, there we go. This is a quite a drop there. You need to uh, just add a bit of power just to launch the front tyre off it. Uh, so that was, I was going to get caught on that with a with belly. There we go. A oh, I thought there might be a trail up there as well. Easy. Now this is the trail, yes, this is the trail I crossed a couple of weeks ago actually, and there was a, there's a bit of a race going on, right, so which way do I go, I go left, bit of a foot race, these Marathon de Sable type of uh, races, and uh, yeah, got myself in a bit of an awkward situation really, I shouldn't have been there, and uh, certainly and I just didn't know the race was going on, so uh, there you go, but anyway. I think when you're off-road riding, you've got to, you know, think smart and all that kind of stuff. And you've got to take slow, but also you've got to have the will to go and do it. You've got to have the will to say, right, you know, I'm going to get somewhere, or I'm going to do something, or I'm going to, you know, I'm going to ride this trail, or I'm going to get over that obstacle. Do you know what I mean? You know, there has to be something. Right, where am I? Uh, you know. Morning. Hmm. Yeah, there's some going up the hill here, so I wonder know how much of a steep incline this is going to be. Oh, rocked. This is where, as I say, you need this willpower to just to get up there. Keep on going, don't stop, ride it out, ride it out, rocks, tree roots, everything, loose stuff, hard stuff, whatever it is, keep it going. Yeah, all the way, keep it going. Until you reach on the flat stuff. Yeah. Wow, there we go. Made it. Woohoo!
Oh. Uh, I hadn't realised this was here, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to go here and see how far I can get. Yeah, so I say, you know, there's got to be that willpower to, you know, if you do get stuck, you got to try and get yourself out of it. If you do get bogged down or you drop the bike, you got to be able to, you know, you got to have the will to work the problem and just, you know, lift the bike out of it or do something. You gotta, and you got to have that desire to want to go and try and challenge yourself a little bit. I'm not saying you just go into anything blindly. I'm just saying, you know, you got to you got to have that something about you to want to go and do it. You know, test yourself, test your bike a little bit, a bit of adventurous spirit, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, Ooh. It's pretty narrow here with the fence on the left hand side. Just gonna be, just gonna be a bit careful here, covering the the front and rear brakes, very clay soil here actually, so it's kind of slipping a bit everywhere, just nursing that front brake and yeah. beauty, right, so where am I now? Uh, Okay, go straight up here, I suppose. Right, up the trail, up the trail, just keep it going, keep it going. Alright, try and look ahead, try and look for the, the smooth line if you can. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Walk it up if you can. Keep it going, keep it going. Add power when you can. Rear tires slip, fish tailing all over the place. You gotta modulate that throttle. Keep it going. Up the hill. Wow. There we go. Made it. That's what I mean, you know, you gotta have that, you know, that desire in there. Just get up there. And you can't just, you know, oh, oh, stick the throttle open, and uh, hopefully you get up there. You gotta, you gotta make sure that the tire's gripping and not just spinning. You know. Right. Really. I think I'm coming to the end of the trail now. Oops. Well, there we go. That's it. I'm here. Oh, -ho. brilliant. All right. So I'm gonna go up here. That's it. Think. Yep, pretty much coming to the end of it here. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. So, you know, getting on these trails, especially when it gets a bit wet, you got to go up here, you've got lots of loose gravel. You know, you kind of get in the worst case scenarios, really, in terms of, you know, just trying to go out for the little, little leisure ride. But, you know, you can't, you've got to be careful how much power you use and, you know, and when you use it. 
but uh, especially going up the hill, you you don't want that back tire to um, to skid, you know, to slip. You you're a little bit fine, but you need to you know really keep on modulating. That's why turning the traction control off, you can do it all by your hand, but you still got engine power there. Right, okay, catch you on the next one, whatever that is now. Cheers.